continuation to our lecture, this is design volumes. In designing roads, the 30th highest peak hour or the, your PHF, uh, peak hour factor volume has been found to be the most reasonable hourly volume that provides the best results. Uh, the uh, 30th hourly volume of 30 HV, 30 HV is uh, exceeded only 29 times in the year. Okay. Beyond these uh, volume on the right, the distribution of the hour volumes is re relatively flat. Another characteristics of this 30th hour volume, hourly volume, is that its value as a percentage of AADP does not vary much over the years. Depending on the type of highways, the value of K may range from 7% to 15% and something we call the 85% value. Uh, given AADT or your annual average daily traffic, the design hourly volume is computed as follows. Your design, uh, your DDHV, uh, direction design hour volume is basically your AADT either for present or uh, future times the uh, peak hour factor K and the, the uh, direction factor D for multi-lane highways. This is for multi-lane highway. For uh, two-lane, three-lane, and two-way highways, the HV is your AADT times K only. So, ano yung mga abbreviations na yan? The DHV is your directional design hour volume. The HV your design hourly volume. AADT is the average annual daily traffic, annual average daily traffic. Average annual daily traffic. ADT is the average daily traffic. K is your peak hour factor. Uh, D is the proportion of peak hour traffic traveling in the peak direction. So, yung K, peak hour factor. Yung F, peak hour factor with the consideration of flow, kung merong direction. Then, the design of K factor often represents the proportion of average daily traffic occurring during the 30th peak hour of the year. Example data involving ADT, PHF, and DHV or DDHV are as shown. These are example for monthly traffic volume variation for business and recreational access routes. So, sa kalsadang ito, ganito karami yung ating uh, si, uh, uh, ito, yung kailangan nating uh, i-service na sasakyan. Ito ngayon ang capacity niya. Then, at this specific period of time, kailangan natin ng expansion and all that. Okay? Um, next one will be the number of lanes. Considering the number of lanes, the basic task in designing highways is the determination of the number of lanes needed to meet the given design volume of a specified level of service, which is uh, basically a trial and error consideration. So, kailangan lang nating magbilang every now and then kung ilang vehicle ang dumaan sa kalsada na ito ngayong araw. So, susunod na buwan, so susunod na taon, and succeeding years. Okay? Initially, uh, initially the number of lanes is assumed for our design but we always use a minimum number with this assumption the corresponding capacity is obtained from lookup tables so if the desired level of service is known then it is corresponding with the volume capacity ratio so kailangan na, na pag alam na natin yung desired number of lanes ngayon ano ngayon yung service gaano karami yung uh, sasakyan na padadaanin natin sa kalsadang yon, which is your volume capacity ratio. Gaano karami yung pwedeng dumaan sa kalsadang yon within this specific day or within this volume hour or vehicle per hour or vehicle per day. Okay? The uh, volume capacity ratio should be greater than the value of the ratio of the design hourly volume, which is your DDHV and your DHV. Over the estimated capacity. Estimated capacity is basically the uh, standard value for a two-lane two-way, uh, 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 na dito four-lane two-way, six-lane two-way. Nasa table yon. It is in, uh, if the inequality is satisfied, then the assumed number of lanes is okay. Otherwise, it is modified depending on the result of the initial computations. In some cases, correction factors are applied that would reduce the capacity of some substandard values width of the lane presence of gradient and etc deviate from the ideal ones 
Example, using table 6.5a, these are now the basic capacities for highways in urban state. So an example on that, we have, if we have highway, carriageway width should be uh, less than or equal to 12, 4 meters. Roadside friction, none or light. Basic hourly capacity or the uh, tawag na dito, PCU, both direction. PCU, passenger, car, unit, ata yan. Basta PCU, both direction of 600 or vehicle, uh, number of vehicles, dun lang naman yan. Then, urban street and all that. The Philippine Highway Planning Manual provides the guide on basic capacity for various table using 6.5a and 6.5b. Using 6.5b, this is now the number of lanes per direction and the hourly capacity or the passenger car unit PCU per lane. So, minimum for two-lane, two-way, we have 2,400. It's basically minimum na yun, or 1,200 per lane. Then, if we have uh, four lane two way, that is 1,800 times two. We have uh, six lane two way, that is 1,750 times eight. If we have eight lane two way, we have two way, yung papunta at yung pabalik. Yung ibig sabihin yun, lane number of service roads. Okay? So, we have eight lane uh, two way, that is 1,700 times four. So, four yung left lane then four yung right lane so level of service yung los pag sinabi nating los is the mechanism used to determine how well a transportation facility is operating so so yung tollway na yan does it uh, serves its actual purpose on the design and so forth and so long there been how well a transportation facility is operating from the traveler's perspective so Hindi mo naman masasabi na laging tama yung traveler's perspective. Typically, six levels of service are defined on each assigned uh, letters from A to F. With LOS, level of service is representing the best operating conditions. LOS F will be the worst. LOS A will be the best operating conditions. F will be the worst. Level of service. If your roadway or highway is now categorized at the level of service at A, it should have a capacity ratio V over C of 0.2. Okay? If not, um, F, or if it is F, it should now be greater than 1.1. 1 .1, okay? 1 1.0 for the velocity capacity ratio under level of service. Projection of traffic demands. Under the projection of traffic demands, these are the following considerations that you need to take account with. First thing is a geometric design based on the future traffic volumes. So, after 50 years ba, ganito pa rin ba yung itsura ng magiging kalsada natin? May magiging changes ba sa type ng vehicle? Mag may magiging changes ba sa kung anong klaseng vehicle ang kailangang i-service ng road na yan? For today, taxi and jeep. In the future, kailangan na ba niya mag-service ng truck? Kailangan na ba niya mag-service ng van and so forth and so on. Then, the defining life of highway per life cycle. Gaano ba siya katagal bago ang expansion? Okay, bago, bago niya ma-exceed yung volume design. Then, the physical life expectancies. Right of way and grading, which is at 100 years. Bridges of 25 to 100 years before expansion or changes for rerouting. Then, pavement, 10 to 30 years. Then, period of 20 years is widely used as a basis of design. So, ito na yung tinatanong lagi, no? Oh, bakit nagpapalit na sila ng kalsada? Kailangan na po magpalit ng kalsada or mag repavement no? Uh, we initially designed the pavements, whether, whether they are concrete pavement or an asphalt pavement, to last basically two years, five years. Support a specific number of loads. And for maintenance purposes or maintenance sake, we will then have to uh, rebuild that roadway. Again, same goes for sidewalks and pedestrian. The projected AADT or the projected AADT of a uh, proposed facility is, uh, as an example, the projected AADT of a proposed facility is 33,000 vehicle per day. If the proportion of the average annual daily traffic in the design hours is 16% uh, and the peak hour directional distribution is 65 to 35, the DDHB will be as shown. 
the DDHV or the directional design hour volume initial uh, vehicle per day is 33,000 vehicle per day 33,000 mo bra ng zero 33,000 ang ating peak hour factor or uh, uh, peak hour factor K is 16% minimum of 65 para sa distribution for the directional peak hour so 0 0.65 33,000 0.16 and 0.65 gives us uh 3430 vehicle per hour so eto ngayon yung design number of vehicles that were passed to this particular lane uh within an hour so minimum minimum ha? note the higher directional distribution or gd factor should be used 65 percent be uh not uh percent be used instead of 35 so pag ginamit natin yung 35 mas kokonti yan para ma-maximize natin yung design, directional design hour volume. Now, second example, a practical application of DDHV is in computing the number of lanes needed for a given level of service as shown below. Uh, N is now equal to the DDHV over the peak hour factor times MH MSFI plus FHV plus FT. Peak hour factor, MSF, maximum service flow rate for the level of service initially. FHV is the heavy vehicles adjustment factor. F is the road user familiar familiarity adjustment factor. As an example, assume that the peak hour factor or the uh, PHF or your basically your K is uh, FHV, FT of the proposed facilities at 0.91. 0.925 and 1 respectively the maximum service flow rate for the facility to provide a uh, level of service capacity of 1500 pc per hour per inch uh, the number of lanes required so yun yung requirement na then now how do we compute n or the number of lanes requirement actually Meron tayong uh, road requirement, PHF, ano yung sabi niya kanina? DDHV. DDHV was initially computed as 3,430. Yung example natin kanina. Peak hour factor ng kalsadang yon is 0.91. Then, uh, 1,500 yung ating capacity. Then, uh, we have a directional value of 0.925 uh, FHV. Then FT of 1%. For us to compute the number of lanes to service this uh, vehicle per day, ito ngayon yung ating N, 2.3. So basically, maximize natin yan, uh, taong na dito, round up, use now 3 lane to weigh. So kayo na bahala for your traffic scheme kung ilan yung left lane and ilan yung right lane. Now, consider the case of a rural highway that has a 20-year forecast of AADP of 30,000 vehicles per day. For given highway, the K factor ranges from 0.15 to 0.25. For the directional factor D, that is ranges 0 0.8, 0 0.65 to 0.80. For us to uh, design for 20 years, DDHV on a low requirement, AADP times K times D. Uh, rural highway, so more than 2 to 3. So, kailangan natin yung directional factor. So, more than 2 to 3. 30,000 vehicle per day. Minimum K is at 0.15. Minimum D is at 0.65. It will now service 2,925 vehicle per day. Then, at a high or maximum value ng DDHV, 30,000 within 20 years, meron tayong directional factor of 0.80 and peak hour factor of 0.25 maximum uh, tawag na dito, maximum service of 6,000 vehicle per day as a reference uh, for table 5.2 these are now the general ranges for K and D factor for rural highway rural highway the K factor is between 0.15 to 0.25 the D factor is at 0.65 to 0.80 Minimum volume, maximum volume. Okay? Then that will be the reference for us to compute the number of lanes 
later on. Then, suburban area, urban for radial route and uh, circumferential routes. Now, on our next example, we will have to uh, discuss this on our next lecture video dahil medyo marami-rami yan. Kailangan natin compute yung peak hour and we'll have to forecast the number of lanes after a specific period of time. Kung kailangan na ba ng expansion, kailangan na ba ng addition of lanes and changes sa ating highway.